In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how using simple shapes, you can make a face like this. And once you've made a face like this, you can adapt it and use it multiple times to illustrate things that you're doing in your work. So it's worth learning how to use the simple shapes palette in Vector to make characters like this that you can use. So let's get into it. Full disclosure on this tutorial, these ideas are not mine, they're not original to me. I've been inspired by this YouTube guy called Mark Rise and his channel called Gigantic. And specifically from this um, draw a flat face tutorial here, and I recommend you go and look at what he does. He uses Illustrator and a whole range of different tools. I've adapted his tutorials from using Illustrator to using the free online tool for Vector. So I've created a new artboard in Vector and the first thing I want to do is to make it smaller. By default, it's 640 pixels. I want mine to be 200. Don't need to be any bigger than that for these characters that we're making. And so I'm just going to center that and then zoom in. And everything we're going to make is going to be made with a rounded rectangle. So I'm just going to draw a rounded rectangle um, about that size. You can just fiddle around with the proportions. And I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to do is try and get the skin tone. This is probably the hardest thing to do. It's worth spending some time on this. It's kind of up around here somewhere. And I'll probably stick around there probably. That'll do us. And so now I've got my rounded rectangle and I click once to select, click twice, and I get these round controls here. So I can click on the inside controls and just bring these in, you can see how they kind of level up. And I'll do the same over here. And this is going to be my face. Just bring that back a bit. That's good. All right, so I can see the lines have gone over each other there a little bit. So there we go, that's, that's my face. That's gonna be the, the start of my face. And so the next thing I'm going to do is create a neck. So the first thing I'm going to do is just copy that because it keeps the skin tone for me, but I need to create a shadow. So I'm going to copy that again. And you'll see why in a moment. And so now I'm going to make my neck and make it It's a bit thick, so I'll just make it a bit smaller. Yep, that'll do. Now what I want to do is I want to use this shape here to make a shadow on this shape here. So I'm going to paste this, and this needs to be in the background, so I'm going to send it backwards. And I want to use this shape to cut out from the other shape. So I'm going to highlight these two, and I'm going to use that function there, intersect. Click on intersect and I'm going to make this one slightly darker. So let's come down to here. That will probably do. Put this over the top and it's going to give me the same radius as the bottom of that other shape. This looks like a pill at the moment. I can group these. And now if I put this over here like this and send it to the back, I now have a neck and a head with a shadow. Now it's time for us to make his ears, so or her ears. We haven't decided on the gender yet. So I'm going to click a circle and we're going to make a circle and we're going to duplicate that circle. Have two ears and we're going to make this one the same color as the head. So we're going to click on the color swatch and click on the eyedropper and click on that and it changes the color. That's going to be the basic ear. And we're going to make this one a lighter color, so more of a ready color. So we will just move this up into the red slightly. And over here, there, that'll do. And now we're going to put this one, make it smaller. And we're going to center it in here. So again, we'll just select both of them and then right click and use the align function, so align center and then align middle. There we go. And then finally, we're going to group. So now we can rescale into size to everybody. And we're going to make that here about halfway through. Now we're going to push this back down through the layers. There we go. So now it's behind. And then copy that 
and use the alignment tools over here. Make sure it's in the right, there we go, halfway, halfway. And again, use the alignment tool. And so now we've got a neck and we've got the ears in place. So now we can make the eyebrows and the eyes. So now we're going to use the circle tool and we're going to make the eyes. So we're going to make a circle and we're going to make this one white. Let me just run this all out to the corner here. And if you want to make it absolutely white, you just make this over here into six Fs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not black, but Fs. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go, to the top. You can't see it, so we'll just put it on there for the moment. And make another one. And this time we want this one to be black. All the way down here, make it smaller, and then bring this one up behind, and again use our alignment tools, align middle, align center, and then I'd like to put mine just slightly off center, so bring it down slightly there and group. And resize. There, so there's one eye, two eyes. Let's just, there we go. And now I'm going to make some eyebrows. So to make an eyebrow, what I'm going to do is make a rounded rectangle. Just like that. And you can give some expression by leave it one slightly raised up or just the same. It's entirely up to you. Let's use the alignment tool. There we go. And so now I've got the eyebrows and the eyes. And again, use the alignment tool to make sure everything's lined up. That looks good. Next on my list is the nose. And again, I'll use the rounded rectangle. So most of this has been created with a rounded rectangle. Slightly wider nose. Put this in here, like that. Just bring that up slightly. And again, use the eye Fill a tool, click on that, and now I want to make it slightly redder. Perhaps a bit darker than that, there we go. There's my nose. Now it's time to tackle the mouth. And we can do lots with the mouth, but we'll just make a simple mouth to start with because um, it uses lots of different good techniques to learn in vector. So again, we'll start with a rounded rectangle. And again, we will double tap and make the bottom of the mouth like this. At this stage, color doesn't matter. And I'm going to cut this. So I'm going to just use the square to chop the top off. That'll do. So combine these two and then use the subtract option. And that's the shape of our mouth. Now we need to understand how um, shading works, you need to go from dark to light. So the back of the throat is going to be the darkest red. So we'll just find a nice red color. And we'll go back to about here, I suspect. Perhaps, yeah, that'll do. And now we're going to put a bit of detail for the back of the um, mouth. And we'll do that with a, another, let's check the size of this, that's pretty big. So we'll make it a bit smaller and a bit thinner. That'll do. And I'll use the same technique as before. So I will cut this by putting this over the top like that, and combining, combining those two, and then subtracting and putting this here like that, probably a bit further down actually. And we'll see why in a moment. So I'll click on that and make it the same color to get into the same tonal range. And then once I'm there, I want to make it slightly lighter because we're coming forward. 
Perhaps a bit lighter than that. That'll do. Now I'm going to do the teeth, which will be a little square like this. And I will zoom in a little bit to make this accurate. So I'm just going to make this white to start off with, so up into the corner here. And again, six Fs to make this exactly white. White does that. Shouldn't do that. That's better. So now I've got just to zoom in. Make sure this is aligned exactly to the edge. Yes. Yes. Now I'm going to copy that and make it even smaller. I'm going to make it a grey for a shadow. That'll do. And I'll just, just make it, there we go, just a little bit. Put this at the top here like that. And it's still too wide. That'll do us. And now I need to copy this. I haven't grouped anything yet. I'm going to use this shape here and I'm going to use a rounded rectangle again. Double tap and I'm going to make this make this the tongue, a stylized tongue. So let's just keep pulling this down. So this is the tongue like this. Probably about there. Highlight those two and use the combined function. And this has got to be the lightest, so I'll come all the way over to here for the tongue. Not quite red enough. That's better. So I'm going to put this here. So here's my tongue, and now I can group all of that. Group and put this onto my page. Too big. There we go, zoom out, there is my mouth. The last thing we're going to do now is put hair on our characters. So to do that, um, at the moment, our character is um, neither male nor female. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to make a copy. So I'm going to put one character here and I'll put another character over here and we will give them two different hairstyles to make them look different. So we're going to make uh, use a rounded rectangle here and I'm going to make this black. Double tap on it. And I'm going to, instead of, pull this, pull this up a bit like this. And I'm, instead of, pull this one down like that. That's good. And now this one, I'm going to push out make into a point and push this one out to make into a point and now I can put this on here like that and now I've got this really nice hairdo so what we can do and it's probably that's probably a bit tall probably a bit wide so now I'm going to put them like that and copy that and then we can use the rotate tool down here to rotate it exactly 90 degrees And we can make that smaller, like this. Probably move it about there, bring this across like that. There we go, probably make that. That's probably a bit better, isn't it? There we go. There you go, there's uh, a hairdo. So now let's do this one over here. So this one we're going to use we're going to use a circle. And we're going to make the circle just a bit wider. That's it, that'll do. And we're going to come down here. I'm going to cut this one in half, so we're going to use this object now. Make sure it's halfway. 
select those two and subtract. There we go. And now we're going to use this. Yeah, that's going to be okay. I'm going to make a square. And this time we're going to double tap, delete that one, make a triangle. Um, make this into a different color, just so we can see what we're doing. I'm going to scale this down. I'm going to use this to make a parting. So I'm going to put this on here like that. It's probably a bit big. Double tap, I'm going to move this over here slightly. It's probably more across to here like that. So now I'm going to Get rid of that and I'm going to use this, that's it, cut out here. So this can go on here like that. So you could leave it like that, it's a different hairdo if you wanted to. But what we could do now is we can just slightly widen it like that. And now we can go to rounded rectangle. Can do this and make another one. Put that underneath like that, and we could make a little. Um, let's do another round rectangle. Do a tiny one and make a different color. So let's make this stick with red. Put that there like that. That looks okay, and then we can group that. And then we can place this here like that. And now we can use the center back function. Keep clicking this down the stack. There we go. And then we can click on this and do the same thing over here. Uh, whoops. Just get it all organized the way we want it to be. A loop and then use that stack down down through here behind the ears one more there we go and so now from that standard face we've now got uh, a boy and a girl and so that's how you can create different faces so what i would do now is i would be i would copy that into a new sh um, object so let's say i want to save this i'm going to save it as let's save it as boy and girl say file name Let's say I wanted to use this face in a new body. I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to click back to my profile. So here's my new canvas that I've created, my new artboard. And I've copied my um, one of my head characters from um, my, my already existing drawing. I want to make a new drawing. So I'm using that one as a stock picture. I now can paste it. There she is. And now I can start doing things like making a, a body. So I'm going to now make a rounded rectangle. We can do things like um, double click in here. Uh, make this the body. And in another tutorial, I'll show you how to make um, a pill, a pill shaped body. But let's just for argument's sake, say this is what we're doing here. So I'm just going to and proportions the thing. So there we go. That looks like a body here, and I'm just going to move it backwards. There we go. And now I can make a circle. And I won't go any further than this. And this will be the shoulders. And we'll use the eyedropper tool. Probably too big. And we can go from there. But that's what I think you should be doing is creating a, a base character, a core character that you can then keep adding content to at a later stage.